Invasive algae. Invasive species currently pose a huge threat to biodiversity, second only to the destruction of native habitats. This is a global problem caused by the transport, both responsible and otherwise, carried out by our species. It affects ecosystems not only on land, but in the sea. Invasive algae represent a very specific threat because they are the engineers of our aquatic ecosystems. They shape the landscape and have the capacity to transform their environment. Invasive species have risen dramatically in the last few years because of an increase in marine activity. They move about using ships, where they attach themselves to the hull or are collected with ballast water. The Mediterranean Sea is especially sensitive when it comes to invasive species and is one of the world's most affected areas. Most invasive species entered the zone following the opening of the Suez Canal in the late 19th century. Among them are a dozen different species of algae. The capacity these marine organisms have for reproducing through fragmentation and their amazing adaptive abilities make them especially dangerous as invaders. What's more, the only way to fight them is prevention, because once they have settled in, it is nearly impossible to weed them out. The Alien Project, headed up by Dr. Maria Altamirano at the University of Malaga, has been studying invasive algae in Andalusia for almost 10 years. They are especially dedicated to the study of red algae of the genus Asparagopsis, to which only two species belong, both invasive. Asparagopsis armata was the first to arrive on the Iberian Peninsula in the 1960s. It came from Australia, and its population here is established and stable. In the late 1990s, the second species arrived. Asparagopsis taxiformis is much more dangerous because it continues to spread actively. All of these algae have allelopathic substances, meaning they have a chemical defense system that prevents other algae from being able to compete with them and also keeps herbivores from consuming them, so few animals are linked to them. The habitat where they settle becomes dramatically impoverished. Nevertheless, they have a pharmacological significance which is quite interesting. Asparagopsis taxiformis, of which very little was known until recently, has been more closely studied than its cousin. Like other red algae, this species has a complex life cycle with two visibly different forms, both of which are important in the invasion process. When the organism is tree-shaped, it is invasive, driving out other species and causing damage. But Dr. Altemirano's team has discovered that once the algae has been pulled up, it is unable to take root again, eliminating its ability to spread. During its pink tuft phase, it has the capacity to spread and colonize new areas as it is dragged about by the ocean currents. It is able to reproduce and move on to the other stage during both of its phases. The team has also discovered that only two of the various genetic lines of these algae are dangerous invaders. They have even been able to differentiate them morphologically, providing an extremely important management tool. Early detection is crucial for preventing its spread into new areas. The collaboration of scuba divers could prove to be essential. Research provides tools for prevention. Detailed knowledge of the algae's biology allows us to predict the movements of invasive species. Learning how they propagate and their ability to resist, as well as identifying sensitive communities, could prove to be key for the conservation of marine ecosystems in the future.